How would you feel if I told you that the expression of your genes and DNA and the potential of developing certain health conditions, even certain diseases, are not set in stone? Just imagine the possibilities to your own health, your own health choices, even to the practice of medicine. If that were not true, the good news is it is not true due to something called epigenetics. And I want to share with you some of my experiences and research in the field of epigenetics. Now, epigenetics in itself is kind of a subcategory of genetics. It developed about 20 years ago, just as the Human Genome Project was wrapping up. The Human Genome Project was a huge scientific effort to try to sequence human genome or our genes. And what happened was scientists started to look at the expression of genes and scratch their heads a little bit because the code or the sequence of DNA was not necessarily the determinant factor on how those genes were expressed. Now, I want to go through a little bit of a scientific review for you. Cells are the fundamental working units of every human being. Some scientists say there's close to 37 trillion cells in the body. So this represents a cell and inside every cell is a nucleus, which contains the majority of genetic material on chromosomes. And so this is an expansion of that. This represents a chromosome and chromosome is made up of this beautiful thing called DNA. And the DNA sequence is quite important. It's what makes us all unique. DNA from humans is made up of approximately 3 billion nucleotides, which helps to make us all unique. Brown hair, blonde hair, red hair. The sequence or order or code of the bases is what determines our life instructions. Interestingly enough, our DNA sequence is mostly similar to that of, say, a chim chimpanzee. Close to 98, 99%. Only a fraction of distinctly different sequences within those nucleotides is what makes us human. Within the 3 billion bases, there are about 20,000 genes. And the code is important, but what's important is epigenetics. Epigenetics acts as sort of like switches that tell your DNA, tell your genes, which genes to switch on and which genes to switch off. Now, epigenetics is influenced by almost everything in what you eat, where you live, who you interact with, how you sleep, how you exercise, developmental stages in utero and as a child, environmental chemicals, prescription drugs, how you think, what you believe, who you interact with, certain supplements that you take, even aging. All of these can eventually cause chemical modifications around the genes that will turn those genes on or off over time. And this is exciting news because it gives you power to control the expression of your genes. It's a game changer. Additionally, in certain diseases such as cancer or say Alzheimer's, various genes will be switched into the opposite state away from the normal healthy state. This offers incredible potentials for sustainable wellness. Genes are not set in stone. Phenotype is the expression of genes. Genotype is the genes that you're born with. How your genes are expressed is determined by what you do and your lifestyle. And this research about 20 years ago came out originally by studying identical twins who have the same genetic code, the same DNA sequence, but understanding that the expression of that same genetic code is different based on choices and environment. And it's so profound because it can change diseases, it can change your interests in the future. And it's passed on. These epigenetic changes are passed on from one generation to the next. Even grandparents influence your epigenetics.
And epigenetics puts the power into your hands, empowerment into your choices. So these represent something called histones. These little funny guys right here are called histone tails. And that is primarily what epigenetics is all about. These histone tails act as switches to activate expression of DNA. You can think of it as writers and readers, erasers, remodelers of your DNA. Think of it as a director in a movie. The actors play a part, every cell plays a part. The directors, directors, epigenetics, these histones and histone tails can make a profound difference in the expression of your DNA. And studies in epigenetics went from just a few hundred back in, say, the year 2000, just a few hundred a year to nearly 6,000 studies a year. And the reason this is so interesting is it ch it's a game changer. We used to believe 30 or 40 years ago, we used to believe in faith that behavioral choices made a difference in life. And some scientists thought, oh, that's, that's pseudo-medicine, it doesn't really matter. But with better, deeper understanding of epigenetics, it will change medicine. And it should change how you look at your own health and your own behavioral choices, lifestyle choices. Because this is real science, 6,000 studies a year on epigenetics showing that epigenetics is quite powerful and it will change the future of medicine for me and how I practice and for you as a patient. I love that you guys are watching. I'm thrilled that you're watching from all over the world. I'm honored for your time and attention. If you have further questions about epigenetics, please let me know because this is a game changer for medicine. This is a game changer for health and wellness. At Zenith Labs, we've actually created a supplement called Longevity Activator, which helps these histone tails activate healthy genes. I encourage you to check that out. We've made some other videos about the aging process and genes. I encourage you to check those out. We have a website, zenithlabs.com, a Facebook page, an Instagram page. I want you to learn more and become empowered about your health and wellness because you can really change the trajectory of your future by understanding the behavioral choices and lifestyle choices are powerful and they can change how your DNA is expressed. And so I want you to take on that responsibility and understand that it is science and it is hotly studied right now. So thank you again for your time and attention. My name is Dr. Ryan Shelton.